Hi, this is Will Harvey of Finale Inventory. I'm going to give a quick demonstration here of creating a custom report if the existing standard reports don't provide exactly what you want. The situation here is I, I got a, I had a user a few days ago ask me if I could create a report that had that showed him for a particular date range for a particular customer what the total invoiced amount to that customer was. And I showed him how to create that report, and in the previous video, uh, I showed you, if you watched that video, uh, how to do that report. I'd like to pick up from that here and extend that report to something that showed more information. So uh, flipping over to Finale Inventory, I'm going to begin by just showing you that previous report, which was invoice totals. The customer had asked me, look, I just want to be able to pick a customer and pick a date range and then tell me a number. What's the total amount that I'd invoiced for that customer for that date range? So here we're using the report that we created. We pick a customer, we pick a date range, we run the report, and it tells us for that customer, example customer, in that time range, the sum of all of the invoices was that amount. So that answered his question, but what I'd like to show you here is if you wanted to flesh out this report to provide more information, how you'd go about doing that. So I'm going to go back here to this invoice totals report and customize it. You may remember from the last video that reports begin with a data set that is in this case, this is a report based on invoices, that the full data set is just like if you took all of the invoices and you taped them together into one very tall sheet of paper that had one, lo one row in the spreadsheet for every item of every invoice. Then we filtered it down by customer and by date range. And then for that report, we, the only column or field that we cared about was the customer and the total. So we only had a single primary column being the customer and a single calculated column being the total. I'm going to show you how you could flesh this report out that we see here to show us not just a total but kind of give us a list of all of the orders and the total per order instead of just one number. In this case instead of having a single column of the customer, we're going to have a column for the customer and the order date and the order ID. So I'm just going to add the order date here. And add the order ID. Here. So now instead of just printing out the customer, we're also going to print out the order date and the order ID. And the sum is the same. So making only that change, let's run it again. Okay, so see now for this example customer, we're getting a row, instead of just having a single row that was the total uh, the grand total. We're getting a row for every order. Now this is a little bit hard to read because example customer is being listed on every row. So I'm going to go back to this report and make one other change. I'm going to change this to indented with totals below and run the report again. Aha! This is much better. Example customer then from this date he had this order for that much, on that date he had that order for that much, and so forth with a grand total underneath. So that looks like what I'd like, so uh, it's all saved. Done. I could go back to reports later, click on invoice totals, enter a customer like the example customer, pick a start and end date, apply, run the report, and now I see for my customer all of the orders that I had in that date range for which I had invoiced him and the total amount that I had invoiced him. That's about all there is.